Still got the likes of the Silvers, Bernardo and David there, Sergio Aguero. How can they not be full of confidence after that comeback win? They'll have got a second win after winning 4-0. 13 wins on the spin now in the Premier League for City. It's theirs. I think Liverpool come out on top. Well, it's all come down to this then, the final day of the Premier League season. On only seven occasions previously has the title been decided on the final day, but that is where we are at now. Manchester City, represented by James, and Liverpool, represented by Warren, battling it out for the title. Only a point separates them ahead of their games on Sunday. Manchester City travelling to the south coast to take on Brighton, and Liverpool play host to Wolves. And at the minute, James, the title is in City's hands. You must be very confident going into the weekend. City must be very confident. Extremely confident. Why wouldn't they be? You know, they came through what was meant to be the toughest test against Leicester, still won that 1-0 and albeit with a Vincent Company stunner as well, so obviously the captain's going to be a massive high. 13 wins on the spin now in the Premier League for City. It's theirs. It's definitely theirs. The confidence is absolutely sky high. It's not going anywhere else but the Etihad. And what about Liverpool then? Is it going to be a case of after the Lord Mayor's show? Because that was an incredible night at Anfield on Tuesday against Barcelona. It was and I suppose there'll be question marks about fatigue after how much effort they put in against Barca, but how can they not be full of confidence after that comeback win? They'll have got a second win after winning 4-0 against the La Liga champions in midweek. You know, you just got to look at the home record for Liverpool as well. They've not lost a league game at Anfield since April 2017. We're talking over two years now as well. So not only after that confidence boosting win in midweek, but also the confidence factor of not losing at home. Yeah, I have to say, I think it's going to have to go to Liverpool, mainly because they are at home for this one and Anfield is such an incredible fortress. <laughs> Moving on to how the two teams could shape up for their games on Sunday. Then Manchester City, they've proven they can cope without star players this season. So even if they do have some injury problems, should be OK. Should be OK, yeah. You mentioned star players out. They've not really had a left back at the permanently this season. It's Alexander Zinchenko has been there. He's filled in pretty well. Before that, it was Fabian Delft. So we're OK with missing star players. But you look at what we've got at our disposal, what Pep Guardiola has, and he's still got the likes of the Silvers, Bernardo and David there. Sergio Aguero, he's been in fantastic form once again this season. He's also got the added incentive, the personal incentive of the golden boot to potentially go mm. for. So that's another thing that's going to spur him on. The quality in City squad, in our squad, is absolutely sensational. So you can't really look past us. Yeah, another man going for the golden boot is Mo Salah. Warren, he's going to be fit for this game, but no Roberto Firmino. Does that damage the chances of beating Wolves? I do think it's a setback not to have Firmino, but it's a major boost to have Salah back, of course, after that concussion that he suffered at Newcastle. I think an even bigger boost is the fact that Andy Robertson's fit to play as well. He picked up that muscle injury against Barcelona in midweek, but he has been an absolute colossus in terms of assists this season as well for Liverpool, so his presence will be massive. I also think, you know, Firmino's loss will be more greatly felt if it not been for the fact that Origi's found his goal-scoring boots of late. They're two key goals, of course, against Barca off the back of the winner against Newcastle last time. So I think Liverpool have got the players there and needed to, to cover the loss of Firmino. Yeah, unfortunately, I can't go with the Origi carrying on his goal-scoring run, so I have to give it to City's strength in depth for this game. So what about the opponents then, Brighton and Wolves? Well, Brighton uh, are on the beach pretty much, uh, metaphorically and physically, in terms of where they are based. They've got their Premier League safety in the bag and they gave City a good game in the FA Cup semi-final recently. Uh, they did, but, you know, that's, that's a one-off, isn't it? It's, it's one massive game there for them potentially to get through in that big competition. Like you said, they're already on the beach. They're thinking about what they're going to do for the summer holidays. They're pretty lucky that there's been three worst teams than this season because since the turn of the year, they've been atrocious, absolutely atrocious. Just 11 points from 17 games in 2019. It's absolutely dreadful. They've not won in the last nine. They're coming up against the City side as well. That is scoring for absolute fun. There's no way Brighton, who've got one of the worst defensive records this season, are going to hold out the top scorers in the Premier League. Absolutely no way. So, you know, you can't look at Brighton to be able to get anything from this game. And the fact City, it's for the title. Yeah, and on paper, certainly Liverpool look like they've got the tougher test. Wolves have already beaten Liverpool once this season in the FA Cup. Yeah, but it is at home, of course. And you've already mentioned how good Liverpool's form is at home. 
Wolves have had a good record against the top six sides this season and they've done remarkably well to finish seventh. But what I've said is they've not been the same side since they lost the FA Cup semi-final against Watford. They've looked shaky. Uh, they've been beaten twice by Huddersfield, would you believe, this season as well. The only team to have had the double done against them by the Terriers. And I just think that at the bat, they've looked a little bit shaky over recent times. And I think that's where Liverpool can really get at them. And I do think overall that potentially the season is over for them. They can't be caught for seventh. And I also think a little bit like Brighton, like you were suggesting there, it's going to be interesting to see how they come out and approach this. Yeah, I have to say, though, Brighton have been dreadful since the turn of the year. So you have to give it to City. In terms of your predictions for the scores on Sunday, then, James, what's the score going to be? I've got to think with the fact that still Aguero's got the golden boot to go for and they'll want to put a statement. I think they'll score early and I think they'll put a few past Brighton. I'll, I'll go for a 3-0. And what about Liverpool? I think Liverpool come out on top. I wouldn't be surprised to see Wolves score, to be honest, but I can see Liverpool getting more than enough. I'm going to go 3-1 Liverpool. I do think Brighton might frustrate City for long periods and it just depends as to whether City have got that key in their uh, pocket to uh, unlock that Brighton back line. OK, well, that's what the guys think. What do you think the scores are going to be on Sunday and who is going to lift the Premier League title come full-time?